Hi there, this is Justin. In this video, I'm going to show you how to replicate the Google Analytics Shopping Behavior Report in Tableau. If you're not familiar, the Shopping Behavior Report is one of the e-commerce reports within Google Analytics. I actually have a screenshot of the report up on my screen now. Just for uh, privacy reasons, I can't show you the full um, report just because it obviously be, belongs to to an actual account um, but this report is a very powerful report uh, in google analytics um, what we can see over here the report is essentially a funnel we can see here it starts with all sessions we then have sessions with product views sessions with add to cart session sessions with checkout and then finally we get the we have the number of transactions so you know tall blue bar less tall blue bar and at the end of the day we've got around 2.82 percent um, of the sessions result in a transaction so if you're not familiar in the e-commerce world right someone will visit a website they'll look around the website then if they like a product and they want to buy it they'll add it to their shopping cart they then check out and go into the payment processing piece of the funnel. And then once that's done, the transaction is recorded and their order is then in the system will be filled and then their, the products will be um, sent to the, the customer. In Go Analytics, you can actually analyze your web traffic and see um, how people are going through the funnel. Now, at the bottom of this report, you can actually see that you have the same data here, but it's split and shown in kind of a table format, right? Where we have at the moment here, user type, new visitor, and we can see um, we have almost 70,000 sessions made up of 50,000 new visitors. Um, I apologize if it's a bit small on your screen, just uh, zoom in if needed. Uh, and we can kind of see the performance um, broken down. Now, why would we want to replicate this report in Tableau? The reason I actually do this quite often for my clients and my e-commerce clients is because the standard uh, shopping behavior report, the, the user interface of this report is, is kind of weak. So even though down here we can break down the sessions by different dimensions, First of all, I have a certain limit of which dimensions I can break it down by. So for example, I can actually pick source, uh, uh, source medium as one of the dimensions here, but I can't actually break it down by the default channel groupings, which is a bit silly because that's kind of the higher level grouping of the sources of my traffic. And I can't actually do that within the report. Um, so that's actually, uh, a, you know, a breakdown I, I can create, we can create you know, using Tableau. Um, the next issue is, even though I can break it down over here in the table, I can't actually see the breakdown visually, um, which is a bit of a shame. So let's go ahead and actually replicate this uh, report in Tableau. Um, before I jump into Tableau, I do want to show you um, if you want to replicate, you know, if, if you're kind of following along and want to replicate the report, the one thing you need to do is pick shopping stage as one of the dimensions when se um, setting up the extraction um, within Tableau. So I'm not going to cover the entire process, but you would essentially connect Google Analytics to Tableau as, as a connection. Um, and then you'll see a screen where you need to choose which dimensions and which measures you want to extract out of Google Analytics and then use within Tableau. So let's jump in and, and get to work. So here I've, I've already run my extraction. Um, I've got my I've got date, default channel groupings, device category, and shopping stage as my um, dimensions. I've got bounces, revenue, sessions, transactions, as my um, measures. So the first thing I want to do is take my shopping stages and I'm going to drop it onto filters and I'm, you'll see there's a whole bunch of options here. The reason for that is 
if we have like add to cart, we have add to cart with view, add to cart without view. If we go back, if we look over here, um, you'll notice that you also got values at the bottom here. So this is kind of the positives. These are the out, you know, the, the fallouts of each step. So we started with almost 70,000 sessions, sessions with a product view. We're now down to 31. The difference is 37,809. So that's what came out. So in, in Tableau, um, they give us all those options, but we don't need all of that. So let's go ahead and just select what we care about. So we're going to do all visits. That's kind of our starting point. Then we want, um, let's see, uh, we add to cart, checkout, um, let's see, transactions, product view. Um, is there anything else? Nope, I think that's it. So we've got three, four, five checks, and we have one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, five steps. So that looks good. Let's do that. Now I'm going to take my, now it really depends how we want to build this. So let's try and build it, you know, really just duplicate what we see here as best we can. So let's go ahead and take our shopping stages now. We want them on columns. And just for now, I'm going to take sessions, drop them on here. Let's break it down and then let's do um, bars and drop. Bring this back up here. Space it all out a bit. Okay, so we start with all sessions. We then have product view. So that's sessions with product view. Then we have add to cart, checkout, and transactions. So this looks good. Let's turn on the labels. Um, I've got this for the last, I think, like eight months. So it's just for now pick one month let's look at november where we are cyber monday black friday um and yeah now we've got basically our our funnel right we don't yet have the conversion rate but that's quite easy to add because what i'm going to do now is i'm just going to come up here let's just add some sessions again but now I'm going to actually divide it by, and I'm going to use the window max function. And we're just going to take the same thing. So what that's going to do is it's going to take each of these values and it's going to divide it by the maximum that's available, you know, in, in the, in the, um, what would you call it, in the pane. So do that. This is obviously one because it's the highest value. So it's dividing it by itself. And let's go and format and we want to buy a percentage now let's have two decimals for now and for, we're just going to go ahead and do um uh, percentage percentage conversion let's do conversion rate and looking good here yeah, we've got our absolute values i could put you know make these do something like that looks a bit ugly let's see um let's change and over here let's put the labels in the center okay it's looking good this we want the labels at the top centered okay not getting a bit out of hand okay i think that's fine for now so we've got our absolute values at the top and then we've got our conversion rates in the middle let's maybe make the labels all smaller okay not to get too caught up in the details let's get rid of that so now we've got our our funnel now what's really nice is we can take some of our dimensions and we can just throw them into the view so Let's look at device category for example and it's getting a bit messy so let's just go ahead and turn off the labels for the absolute values for now because we kind of care about the conversion rate 
And what do we notice here? And this is very common, by the way, is that desktop, we have more than double the conversion rate on desktop versus mobile, right? So the desktop, you know, websites are more optimized for desktop typically than websites. Um, we see tablets slightly higher um, conversion rate. We also see very big drop here for mobile, right? So we see only 36% of sessions are actually viewing a product. It's not great versus tablet at 50%. So that's a bit strange. Could be something interesting we want to look into there because tablet and mobile are typically kind of very similar numbers. In this case, there's quite a big difference. The, vol the, the volume of traffic on tablet could be quite low. So we might want to actually double check that. Let's go and see. So here are 13,000. It's not a small number, but compared to mobile up here, 206, it's quite different. Um, so now I can kind of just, you know, very quickly analyze the, the funnel, the shopping stages funnel, you know, by different things. The, the one I really like to look at uh, tells a lot is the default channel groupings, right? So this is going to be the conversion rate of all the different categories of traffic. Um, so we can see here, affiliates are very, very high. Um, it's actually weirdly high because it's higher in terms of sessions with transactions versus checkouts and add to cart. So that, that's kind of a bit of a red flag. We want to look what's going on here because something seems to be off. This doesn't make sense that this is higher than this because this is a funnel, right? Um, if we scroll down, we can see social 1.68. So that's below our, our average, right? Which was, I think, two point something. Um, and then obviously emails always very high. We've got over eight. Um, display is very low. 0.12 so we'd probably want to look at the volume of traffic it might be quite low um, or it's very much underperforming um, direct we don't really care about direct is always traffic that's not in any of the other groups it's kind of other even though you do have other up here this is non-tagged other traffic so it's people coming directly to the website or from bookmarks or from email where you don't have UTMs and you can't really track it, um, et cetera. So what can we learn about this business? Well, we can see emails obviously performing very well, four times higher than the, the site average. Um, paid search, decently high. I mean, 7% is very actually very high if this is actually tagged this is actually where all their pay traffic sits um social seems to be very low, under is underperforming which we'll want to kind of look deeper into so what's nice in tableau right i can very quickly now say I focus on this i can click on social i can keep the social only right it's going to add a filter up here and maybe i want to break down the social by the different you know device types so here we can see once again desktop is very high Mobile's actually much lower, right? Like there's like a th almost three X difference here. And once again, we see quite a big difference between mobile and tablet. So I'd want to then kind of reach, uh, you know, if I saw this, I'd reach out to the client and I'd say, you know, what is the, what's going on the website in terms of the desktop versus, you know, mobile and tablet. I'd want to do some comparisons between different months. This maybe do that quickly so if i get rid of this even though it's filtered and now i can kind of take my date bring it up here let's just do month discrete um yeah i guess we can keep it here and then let's go ahead and pick some additional months so let's do that and that and now to kind of break it down so if we look at conversion rate of desktop right so we're going from earliest to latest we see that it was actually quite bad here um but it's it's improved december was quite poor compared to november and, and january's back up um if we come down here for mobile now we have 1.3 very poor in october it's been kind of in this range with January seeing quite a nice improvement. So 
So once again, I just want to kind of show you how number one in Tableau, you can bring in all the available dimensions along with uh, shopping stages and then build whatever funnels you want. And then even quicker than in, in Google Analytics, you can quickly build visualizations to really analyze um, the data. Uh, so I'm going to stop here. I don't want to go into any more detail on this, but if you do have any questions on this process, something wasn't clear in this video, please let me know in the comments. And if you found this video helpful, please go ahead and, and hit the like button. It does help bring the channel to more analysts, uh, which is my goal is to try and help as many analysts as I can. And yeah, if you're one of my 150 plus subscribers, thanks for for the support and uh, I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.